Jack Russells. And uh, I also have puppies. <laughs> Hello and welcome. My name is Linda Kenyita and this is Kenya Dog TV, the best documentary channel for all dog lovers. And today my journey takes me to Isili where I am meeting a legend, an icon in the dog breeding industry in Kenya. I've heard his name so much since I started this journey and uh, finally it's it's what what do I say? It's a pleasure to finally meet him and uh, I'll let him introduce himself. Hello, my name is Alan Nabil from Nairobi, Sli. I'm a dog breeder and uh, I love dogs. I love my work. So I want to welcome you to my kennels. You come and see my dogs. Okay, thank you. I'm so glad to be here. I've heard so much about you and I can tell you how excited I am to finally meet you. These are my Jack Russells, uh -huh. and uh, I have four Jack Russells, uh -huh. and uh, I also have puppies. Uh -huh. uh, puppies are one month old, and uh, this is uh, Saint Bernard. Wow. Two years old. Uh -huh. A puppy spaniel, and. Uh, he is two years old, he's a female. Mm -hmm. And uh, the next kennel. He is two years old. He's two years old. He's so huge. Uh, German Shepherd. He's uh, three years old. Uh, I mostly use him for bedding. Bedding and uh, companion. Uh, the next kennel. Uh -huh. We have a German Shepherd female, which is, uh, she's expecting. And, uh, next oh, this is uh, so cute. We have a uh, Jack Russell and Spaniel puppies. Mm -hmm. So we just put them together to, because it is very cold, to, to give, to share the warmth because it's, they need the, the warmth yeah, to be close together. Yeah. They are so cute. Yeah, they are Aww. seven weeks old. Seven weeks old. Yeah. So cute. So. <clears throat> so, and uh, next kennel. Wow, these ones are so pretty. These are the Spaniel, the parents of the Spaniel. And uh, they are three years old. And uh, these dogs mostly are, are used for, for sniffing and tracking. Uh, they are very intelligent, but they are calm dogs. They are not aggressive. And they are also pretty. Very pretty. Very pretty. Uh, next kennel. We have Malinois. Malinois are dogs with a very high drive and uh, very intelligent, very fast. Uh, I love these dogs a lot. This is a female, mm -hmm. and uh, she's expecting. Okay, she's yeah. so cute. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Hello. Lady. We call her lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lady. 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 She's expecting. That's why we put her alone. Okay. And uh, finally, we have a German Shepherd here. 
and a uh, black shepherd this dog uh, is uh, five years old mm -hmm. that one is three years old mm -hmm. this is one of my first dogs one one of my oldest dogs but uh, it's a working line it's a solid black German Shepherd and uh, it's the most dangerous dog here it's very aggressive and uh, he's a working line we normally use use him for for security for hire so far i have seen two breeds of dogs that i have not met before the spaniel yeah, it's springer a spaniel. springer spaniel yeah. so we have not met a springer spaniel so far so this is the first time you're meeting the springer spaniel so as Alan has explained, it is a sniffer dog, uh -huh. yes. and I think I'll let him explain this more to you. So the spa... Springer Spaniel, yeah, it's a sniffer dog, mm -hmm. and it's also used for, for tracking. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, a, it's how you train it, mm -hmm. but it can do most of the uh, sniffing the explosives and tracking. So many things. Mostly people use them at the airport where to sniff luggages and everything. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So I, I thought it's too cute. I thought it's a house pet. You can, you can also use it for house pet because uh, there are some people who like uh, uh, dogs with a, with a low drive. Uh, dogs with less energy. These are dogs with less energy, not so much energy. Uh, you know, people also put them in uh, apartments mm -hmm. and uh, they don't like uh, dogs with so much energy like Jack Russell because they don't have time to take them out every day for walks. Okay. Yeah. Okay, our second new breed that we've met today is the Jack Russell. It's a, it's a tiny dog with high energy drive, so I'll let Alan uh, give you the characteristics of the Jack Russell. A uh, Jack Russell is a very tiny dog, small dog with a high energy, high drive, and uh, very intelligent, very fast. Mostly it is used for mole hunting. Uh, it, it's used in hunting rats, snakes, and every small mole which is uh, being a menace to your compound. Okay, there you have it. So the Spaniel and the Jack Russell, those are our new breeds today. I said I'm on a journey of discovering um, dog breeds that we have available in the country. And uh, today I'm happy. Two more new breeds. So let's continue with the tour. So as you can see, we are with the Spaniels and they are pretty dogs. They are, ah, I love these dogs. So what are the characteristics of the Spaniels? Spaniels are uh, medium dogs uh, with uh, less energy drive. And uh, they are normally used for tracking, sniffing, uh they are they are, they are used in the airports and uh, this uh, uh, police units uh, they are good for sniffing so are these ones trained hmm? are these ones trained this, the, all all these are trained uh -huh. obedience uh -huh. and uh, they're trained sniffing okay they've also been trained sniffing so I'll go, I'll go into, how long have you been breeding dogs? I've been breeding dogs for about 25 years. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started with uh, local mixed dogs mm -hmm. till uh, eventually I came to, to updated uh, breeds. Okay. Yeah. So um, uh, when I started this journey, yeah. Um, your name uh, came up a lot. Okay. So, 20, 25 years, right? Yeah. So, what would you tell newcomers who 
we want to get into the game of breeding dogs, we want to run kennels. Okay. Uh, for dog breeding is, uh, is uh, quite tricky. Uh, if you are in dog breeding and you are here for money, mm -hmm. and you are not here for the love of dogs, mm -hmm. then uh, it's a big mistake. It's, you can't make it. If only you, you have the interest and you have the love of dogs and you have the care for them and you have time for them. That is where you can you can you can get something out of dogs. So uh, you have to be very patient with dogs. You have to be you have to to maintain them. You have to feed them. You have to take care of them. You have to give them love. You have to give them work. So many things they need. And uh, if if. For example, uh, you have uh, you have workers. You have to to teach them how to how to to look after dogs, how to clean for them, how to look whether they are sick, to look uh, if the dogs are limping or anything. Mm -hmm. All these things you have to to maintain and to every day you monitor and to ask your workers how are these dogs doing is do this dog eating so these are the kind of things you you are supposed to do okay thank you uh, there are several types of spaniel but uh, i have to i have i have one one breed for now uh, but there is another spaniel which is called coca spaniel, which is uh, which is uh, a bit shorter than this, and uh, brown in color. It is called coca spaniel. Uh, this whatever I have is springer spaniel. Yeah. Springer spaniel. Springer spaniel. Yeah. So, for you this is a business so far. How how would you describe? the business of uh, running kennels and breeding dogs over the years that you've been doing it? Uh, the business of uh, running a kennel and breeding dogs, uh, for me it is not mostly after money, but it is for, I love dogs. I love to be with dogs. I love the surrounding of dogs. They are here for, I'm keeping them for mostly security. And uh, only a bit of uh, breeding. That is when I get some money for, for, for paying my workers and for buying the food stuff for the dogs, the meat and the maintenance of the kennels, yeah. yeah. So basically, Biashara, when it comes, it's okay, but the dogs are for, for you. Yeah, you know, if, uh, if, you, if you just depend on the dogs, mm -hmm. and uh, Biashara is bad, mm -hmm. so you'll be in for it. But if you have another side hustle, where you can get some money and and push to the dogs, uh, that is how you can survive. But uh, I thank God I've been with the dogs and uh, not even one day the, my dogs have starved. Yeah. Thanks. So if I wanted to take one puppy home, let's say the Spaniel puppy, yes. how much would that cost me? Uh, a Spaniel puppy would cost you around 45,000 but uh, maybe after negotiations you can get it for 40,000. Oh, what about the Jack Russell? Uh, the Jack Russell uh, is 40,000 but uh, less 35,000. Okay. Yeah. Um, what advice would you give somebody who wants to own a dog but never had a dog before? 
a first time dog owner? Uh, for a first time dog owner, what advice I would give him is to sit down and think about it and think about uh, the time you have for the dog. If you don't have time for the dog and you can't give the dog your attention and give the dog proper meal and proper care, proper vaccinations, you just want the dog to see the dog there, don't keep it. You should be 100% sure you want to keep a dog. You'll always be there for the dog. Your attention will be there. You'll give it proper food, proper vaccination. Then you can decide. And also, the kind of dog you want to put to, 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 to keep it with you, you have to decide. If the dog is there for, for breeding purpose or for, for pet, for companion, for security, you have to be sure with what you want. If you know that uh, it's a first time for you, from, for my advice, I would advise you, you get a companion dog first and a small dog. So that when the dog, uh, you, you don't have any challenges of rearing the dog and feeding it, then you can go for another bigger dog in future. Okay. Yeah. That is good advice. I hope you're noting them down. So first, have the time. Time is very important for that dog. Now, um, all your dogs are trained, right? Yeah, they are trained. Do you do in-house training or do you outsource trainers? Uh, I just do the normal, normal obedience, normal training, like a... Uh, it's called uh, like potty training or something like that and the basic training like sit, stay, go inside not, not so much not so much on the dog okay. yeah so if um, let, let's say the spaniels if yeah. somebody needed the spaniels for a specific job let's say yeah. uh, um, the hotel they would have to get a specialized trainer for them to train the dog or that, is that an instinct that comes naturally to them? Uh, first, when someone buys a dog from me, most of the people ask, is the dog trained? But what someone must do and must know that you should buy the dog first, then take it to your place then let the dog settle, let the dog know everyone in your compound, let the dog get used to the compound, see how the dog be behaves, make sure the dog is not sick. If the dog has settled with your compound and the dog is comfortable, then you can now think of getting a trainer uh, and train the dog what you want the dog to do. Okay. Yeah. That is good advice. I hope you're taking notes as I am because I, huh, I have to own a spaniel. This dog is beautiful. You have to see it to believe it. It's especially the eyes. So when it comes to feeding your dogs, um, what diet do you have for your dogs or what do you feed your dogs and how many times do you feed your dogs? Okay, uh, I feed my dogs, uh, I feed the big dogs once a day, I give them quality food, not quantity, just one meal, uh, I feed them rice, uh, this rice is boiled uh, in, in the sufuria with meat, and then uh, after the boil, uh, fo food is boiled and it is ready, when the food is still warm, I put some fiber on it 
which is called Witabix. Then I stir the, the food for the food to have that uh, flavor of, of the Witabix. Yeah, and my dogs love it very much. And then the small dogs, like these uh, puppies you've seen here, I feed them three times. Uh, I give them in the morning food and when feeding the puppies, introduction of uh, puppy food, you should give them uh, light food, which is not, uh, uh, you call it what? Food like uh, in Uji form. Yeah, yeah, more liquid, more liquid food. Then with time, eventually uh, after one week, you make it a, a bit harder till you go to the to the normal normal kind of food they are now seven weeks old but uh, there are some people who take when it is uh, when the vaccinations are not done as long as uh, they know how to take care of puppies they are not first timers and when they take these puppies they normally go you should uh, normally go and isolate it and make sure your place is, uh, your compound is clean and power free. Yeah. These tiny cute little things here are Jack Russells. It's a new breed that I'm meeting for the first time. So we'll have Alan tell us more about the Jack Russells. Uh, Jack Russells are small dogs, tiny dogs very high energy and uh, very very good with the family it's a family dog uh, it is uh, used for for it is good in uh, in farms uh, and also in the in the house for for mall uh, mole, mole hunting, uh, rats, snakes, and also other small, small, small animals which come to the compound. Uh, they are good dogs. Uh, the they if if you if you put them uh, if you keep such dogs and you also have uh, big dogs these are mostly used for they they they, they make the uh, bigger dogs they make them a lot especially uh, at night they can they can easily detect there's someone at the gate when the uh, when still the, the the other dogs are sleeping this one can can make the, the, the bigger dog uh, be a lot, okay. yeah. So I'm thinking if I'm living in a farm, yeah. these would be a nice dog to have. This is a nice dog mm -hmm. to have in a farm. Mm -hmm. And if you see, if you see this uh, in, in around Karen areas, uh, most of the Wazungus, they, they, if, even if they have bigger dogs, they must have one of these small dogs. Oh. They must have it. And they have it for a reason. If they have a Jack Russell, if they have, a, they have the Terriers, uh, they have it for a reason. They know what, why, why they are keeping it there. Yeah. Uh, how old are these ones? Uh, these are three years. And uh, this is a male. And this is the, the, the mother of those puppies. And also this one has, there are also other puppies here. Oh. Yeah. So, what is their lifespan? Uh, lifespan of a smaller dog, uh, a smaller dog has a bigger lifespan than the bigger dog. Oh. The smaller the dog, the, the longer the lifespan. the lifespan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This dog can, uh, can go up to 30 years. Wow. And this big dog can uh, can go up to 15 years. Oh, that is yeah, like double the lifespan. Uh, 
Yeah, okay. yeah. How old is the, the Saint Bernard? The Saint Bernard is two years old. Tell yeah. Us a bit more about the Saint Bernard. Saint Bernard is a is a calm dog. Is a we call them gentle giants. Yeah, and uh, they're just heavy, muscular, mastiff, and very very calm. People love them. Uh, yeah. Do you do you offer dog um, stud services? I offer dog stud services, uh, but on selective selective dogs. I like dealing with pure breeds. So when I breed dogs for someone, I make sure that uh, his or or her female is very impressive and I'm, I make sure, I normally make sure that it is different line than mine. Different line than mine means that uh, the, her dog and my dog, they've come from totally different parents and they are not related at all. With the bloodline, blood yes, yes. Yeah, and it has to be pure 100%. If it is a Jack Russell or a Malinois, it has to be totally 100% pure breed. Which brings me to my next question. Um, so to, to keep uh, track of the bloodlines, are your dogs registered? Um, most of them are registered, especially the dogs... Uh, which I take for, for, for shows. Most of them are registered. And uh, they are registered with the Kennel Club. I normally participate in the East African Kennel Club, the shows. Uh, I normally try uh, and participate at least once or twice a year. Have yeah. any of your dogs brought trophies home? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, in 2019, uh, I used to have a rod called Alvaro, and uh, I was number one. Oh. Yeah, it was a Rottweiler. It was uh, two years old. Yeah. So, do you have a dream breed that you'd want to own but it's not available it's still available locally but um you still haven't acquired it what is your dream breed of dog that you'd want to own uh my dream my dream dog is a, a belgium shepherd a belgium. a belgium shepherd which is a it is the color is a brindle the dog is slim, tall. It is. Uh, it has some similarities to Malinois, but uh, on my side, uh, the dog uh, is is more faster, more intelligent, and uh, aggressive, uh, and it is easy to train. And. Uh, I'd like to one day own a Belgium Shepherd. It is my dream dog. Okay. Yeah. I hope you get to own it and I'll, I'll be back to visit it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for having us. You've been kind. Thank you. And it's been a pleasure finally meeting you. Thank you very much. Okay, people. There we are. It's been an awesome day here at Isili Islands. What wangu Islands, huh? You're giving me a lot of love. And uh, as usual, I'm your host, uh, Linda Kenyita, and this is Kenya Dog TV, the best documentary channel for all dog lovers. If you like us, subscribe. If you like us a little bit more, hit no the notification bell and get notified every time we upload a new video. Bye.